I was always fascinated by science fiction. Probably my earliest ambition was actually to be an astrophysicist. And then there was um, an absolutely uh, a turning point where a friend of my grandmother's gave me a whole bunch of kids books about archaeology and, and that was it, like I was completely lost from that moment on. I think one of the fortunate things about my childhood is my mother never said to me, you'll never get a job, don't be stupid, why do you want to do that? So I assumed I could. It is actually um, extraordinarily easy to, if you have a qualification, to, to get employed specifically for your archaeological skills. So. It would be nice for parents of kids out there to know that so that they don't put their children off and tell them that it's a stupid career choice and they'll never get work. I'm Dr Alice Gorman, a lecturer in the Department of Archaeology at Flinders University. Archaeology is the study of material culture and places. Most people tend to think that it's actually about old things. It's very much about um, telling those stories that we can only access through the physical remains, which, which may be under the ground, which we have to excavate, or may be on the surface of the ground, but which have to be interpreted in some way. What we do is try and find forgotten stories, in a sense. So, so history and, and the documentary record, as someone famously said, tends, tends to tell the history of the victors. What archaeology can do is tell the story of those who don't normally make it into the history books or about whom no texts have been written or who themselves wrote nothing. Space archaeology is the study of the material culture of space. So this means looking at places like launch sites and tracking stations and other kinds of ground station research and development facilities, actual rockets and satellites and equipment. It means all of the spacecraft in orbit and all of the stuff that we now consider to be space junk and planetary landing sites like Tranquility Base on the Moon. So it's the material and the places that are connected with a very particular period in human history, basically from 1957 when the first satellite was launched to the present day when we have, um, well, we're probably only a couple of decades off mining asteroids. People tend to see recent things as not having significance. They're a bit too familiar and often they're a bit too industrial and they're, they're, not, they're not beautiful. This is very distinct stuff. This is probably the period of the most rapid technological change that humans have ever experienced. So I think we can actually learn something unique about human culture by focusing on this period and by focusing on these particular places and things. And more and more people are, are becoming interested in it and wanting to do research on particular aspects of it. So, so it's quite a good field if, if you want to do something that's um, got lots of room for new research and lots of potential. It's quite a good field to be going into. Highlights. Well, some of the travelling bits have been pretty damn good. I excavated a Paleolithic site in France once. Being invited to teach at the International Space University, so more travel, going to French Guiana and, and hanging out at the um, Centre Spatial Guiana there and just roaming around launch sites and um, talking to space scientists all day. That was pretty good. I like that a lot. I'm such a nerd. <laughs>